Hello friends! Today I got a new pair of glasses so I thought perfect reason to film an updated makeup for glasses routine. Um, I have done this video before. It was two years ago though. It was very old video. It's very good quality. However, I just like looked at it really fast and I have that motto, not monotone, but actually it is monotone, but it's like, hey, I'm doing this and this is this. I just could hardly watch it. So if you want to watch that video, it's a good video. There's tons of really good tips in it, but beware. In that video, I was wearing my old glasses, but I got a new pair of glasses. Y'all want to see them? Here they are. They're unique enough for me, but not too unique to where I feel awkward or weird. So they're really cute. They're from Rowley Eyewear, Cynthia Rowley, her eyewear collection. I will link them below. I'm pretty much obsessed with everything from them and from that line. I want to buy like 10 other pair of glasses. I love them. So that's where these are from. I will link the exact number below if you would like to get them. They are transition too, so when I go out in the sun they turn into sunglasses. They're pretty great. So there's a couple things that drive me crazy when it comes to makeup with glasses and that is the nose piece. Hate it when it gets a bunch of makeup on it. I feel like I take them off, I have to rub it and clean it off. It drives me crazy. So I'm gonna tell you what I do about that. And also, if these are if they're bigger glasses, kind of like these, and when you smile and they hit your cheeks, uh, it drives me crazy too because it takes off kind of some of your makeup unless you do the tricks I'm gonna show you. My eyeshadow primer, NARS Pro Prime, is amazing. It's like the best eyeshadow primer ever, and all the really big makeup artists use it. You know when the big people, the people that do a lot of makeup and try a lot and use a lot of makeup use it, you know it's good. So what I'm gonna do is just, you know, apply this on your eyes like you should, and then if you get those creases right underneath your eyes, maybe put it right there as well. But I'm gonna put just a tiny bit right where gonna check and see where do my glasses hit my cheeks I'm gonna put it right there it's gonna help trust me it just helps with any makeup transfer onto the glasses so then I'm just going to put on my foundation normal foundation also in the summer you know you get really hot and sweaty it's good to use your really intense eyeshadow primer kind of um, in places where makeup smudges I'm going to use Bare Minerals. It's what I use majority nowadays. I haven't been putting on a lot of makeup. I've just been doing a lot of work outside and just a lot of things where I don't need to wear a lot of makeup. So majority of the time, I'm not really wearing any makeup unless I got like a giant pimple and I need to cover that up. But this has been my go-to foundation recently. It's easy. It's fast. It covers. It's natural. I don't feel dirty in it. It's good stuff. So Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I wear in the color Fairly Light if you are curious. Also, if you've been wanting to maybe try Bare Minerals, you're not sure about it, if it'll be enough coverage for you, or just if it'll jab with your skin, I have a full video about Bare Minerals and basically the full coverage that it applies. It's a very in-depth video, start to finish, great video. So, I'm going to link that below if you haven't seen it. It's one of my more, it's an up there video, it has quite a bit of views. Uh, it's a good one though, I enjoy watching it and if I was just a viewer, it would really help me a lot. If you have questions about Bare Minerals and if it'll work for you, go watch that video. This is the deluxe size that comes out every Christmas season and I would actually not recommend this even though it's a little bit of a better deal. It doesn't have a twisty thing on the top where you can close the holes that allow the mineral to come out of which is really annoying for travel and just for our at home because the foundation gets into the crevice on the side of this and when I flip it over it always drops down like the sides which is really annoying because mineral makeup just in general is messy and this kind of makes it even more messy than it should so I would actually recommend buying just the normal original packaging of their bare minerals even though you get a little bit of a better deal I would much rather get a less of a better deal and um, buy the packaging that is just more manageable and less messy so little tip for you so there's bare minerals foundation all I did was apply it with the brush and I used a little concealer brush on you know this giant pimple right there and I had a little guy right there and a little bit over there so I love bare minerals it's quick it's easy and you can't really mess it up now I did not apply it right here I just avoided this area basically what I did was when I did this and this and this and this and this but I didn't go right there or right there because I don't like when my foundation gets on my glasses right there. It just drives me absolutely nuts. So, this way, you don't put makeup there, you can't get on your glasses. And then for under eye concealer, what I just love and genuinely use every single day. And I also use this just as a foundation. It's a Maybelline Fit Me. I wear it in the color 15 Fair. 
and I'll just put this underneath my eyes. A couple of dots right here. Right there. If I want to use this as my foundation, I'll just kind of stripe a little bit, stripe a little bit. And it really is an awesome, awesome foundation slash concealer. Alright, so I'm going to blend that just with my finger. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Alright, so foundation is done. I'm going to do my eyebrows now. For glasses, I like my eyebrows. I pretty much always like my eyebrows to be pretty strong and and full um, but for glasses I especially do because they're gonna frame you know your, your eyebrows are gonna kind of frame your glasses which frame your eyes and frame your face so it's all about framing today and especially just with glasses in general it's a lot about framing so for my eyebrows what I always use is the Tarte Emphasize waterproof brown mousse in the color medium brown it's what I always use it's what I've used for probably two years I love it I love it a lot I have pretty thick eyebrows, so I just do a general filling in and kind of fill in the tail a little bit more, but they don't need a whole lot. Bronzer that I've been using lately, guys, I love bronzer. It's so cool. It just makes you look so good, and you don't got to do a lot. I've been using my Too Faced one, Chocolate Soleil. This is a medium to deep, and I use it on my Real Techniques blush brush, and all I do is go like this, literally. Oh, crap. Let's get a little bit more on there. Two taps, tap it off, um, and I just, I literally tap and like brush backwards, but I only put on a little tiny bit. And I blend it, blend it, blend it, tap. And then I go up here and I just kind of lightly brush around my forehead. Blush, I just use this blush pretty much every day. It's by Tarte, it is their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Natural Beauty. And I get a little bit on my brush. And I tap it right on the apple of my cheek. Lastly, for highlighter, I use my Hourglass Ambient Light Palette. And I use the middle color, which is Incandescent Light. And I'm going to brush that right there. When you're wearing makeup with glasses, you want to focus on stretching everything out and really, really blending outward. You want to make your eyes look big because behind the lens, they can kind of get hidden and look kind of like, where are your eyeballs? If you're a daily eye glasses wearer, then you can get away with wearing kind of a lot of eye makeup because, like I said, your eyes are behind lenses and they kind of get hidden. And since my eyes are blue and my glasses are orangey, I kind of did this on purpose because they're that really warm tone and the warm tone brings out the cool toned in my eyeballs. It's a good contrast. It brings out the blue in my eyes. So I want to stick with those warm colors as far as on my eyelid. And you, you want to do a good combo of matte and sparkly because once again, your eyes are hidden, they're, they're back, they're they're hard to see, so shine can kind of bring them out. So I'm going to be using two palettes, my Lorac Pro and my Kat Von D Monarch palette. This is the Lorac Pro to go. It's a really great palette. It has eyeshadow on one side and blush bronzer on the other side. The first color I'm going to start with is, actually, I'm going to just blend very lightly this yellowy base color. It has no sparkle or anything to it, but it's just a good basey, blendy color. Because after you put on primer, your lids can be a little bit sticky, so you want to put something down that just makes blending everything else easy. So now I'm going to take this orange color. It is legitimately orange, um, and I'm only going to take a very little bit. I'm putting it on first so that when everything's done, it's not noticeable, but it kind of shines through a little bit. So I have this on a really thick blending brush. And... I'm going to blend this a little bit above my crease. And it's going to look weird at first. Once everything's done, it'll shine through nicely. Moving to my Lorac Pro To Go palette, I'm going to use the color Chai. It's a um, medium to dark brown with some shimmer in it. I'm going to sweep this onto my actual lid now. I'm putting this on my lid, but I'm also working it up into my crease. This is where I am now, two colors blended, and you can see how it looks probably pretty dramatic, you know, I put a, I have I have quite a bit on and I have a dark color on too on my lid. But now when I put my glasses on, I mean you can't even tell because it's hidden behind the frames. Next I'm going to take an even darker color. I'm gonna take mink from my Lorac Pro to Go palette. It is an even darker brown, and I'm going to put this into my crease. 
to my crease, but like kind of this outer corner. My upper lid is done. I've just blended everything out with a nice, whoa! Got the edges, um, like you should with every eye look. Now for my lower lash line, this is really important because a lot of people are scared of this. I'm gonna put some eyeshadow on my lower lash line, but I'm gonna blend it pretty far down because I want my eyes to look open and big behind my glasses. But just in general, for a normal, kind of smoky, more intense eyeshadow look, don't be scared to blend your eyeshadow out and down, especially on the lower lash line. A lot of us think we need to like put it really close to the for our waterline, but if you want your eyes to look big and smoky and just, you know, have a good symmetrical shape, uh, don't be scared to blend it down. So just experiment with it a little bit. At first you might be like, whoa, this looks weird, but I would recommend just taking a normal pencil brush, which I don't have with me right now, which is so frustrating, but a normal pencil brush, really small brush, and just create a nice line. Eyeshadow around and meet it up with that, see where... My eyeshadow came out all the way. Just made it up with there. Eyes are gonna look huge and beautiful. So I'm going to do that now with my Sigma E25. This isn't the best brush to do that with, but it's a brush I have on hand right now. I'm gonna start out with a matte brown. This is called Cafe, and it's just a matte medium brown. I'm gonna get this on the tip of my brush, tap off any excess, and just start smoking out that lower lash line. Can you guys see the difference between this eye and this eye? I hope you can. A little bit more smoky, and this one just looks kind of weird. So I did that with my matte brown. I'm going to go back to my chai, which is a little bit darker and has some shine in it. Just go over... I'm just going to go over top of that color. And voila. That's all I'm going to do. Oh, but I am going to have a highlighter color on the middle of my lid. Uh, middle of my eyes, because that just looks really good when you're wearing glasses to highlight your inner corner. So I'm taking this NYX in the color Sparkle White. Just gonna get a little bit on my finger and tap it on that inner corner. Just like that. Can you see the shine? This is after mascara and eyeliner. You can do a wing with this type of look. This is how I look at it. If you're a glasses wearer, you can do a lot with your makeup. You can experiment a lot. You can wear crazy colors because, like I've said like 10 times already, you can't really see your makeup with glasses. So if you want to try something new, maybe do it, wear glasses, and you can look at it in all the different lighting. Like at work or at school, you can go to the bathroom and look at it, or in the car. It's just an, it's a good way to test something new and see if you like it. Uh, just throw some glasses on over it, nobody will really be able to see it, and you can kind of check it out in a bunch of different mirrors. Mascara, eyeliner, lots of it, and glasses on. Oh yeah. It looks really good. Just, if you were just like looking at me and talking to me, you'd think, oh, she has really pretty eyes under those glasses. But if I take my glasses off, you're like, whoa, you have a lot of makeup on. So it's a great way to wear a lot of makeup and have some fun. Stick with that color palette of the warm tones. With my warm toned frames, it looks good. Lipstick wise, what I have been loving lately is the NARS Dolce Vita. It's a very sheer lipstick. So if I was recommending to you, I would go to the drugstore and maybe use a Revlon Lip Butter. Buy one of those that's can kind of like a neutral red-brown color. Because those go on very similar to how this goes on. And this is super expensive. It came in a kit. That's why I have it. And I can put it on without a mirror because it's not super bold or anything. But no matter what I've been doing lately, where I've been going, this has been my go-to. I absolutely love it. This is it for my tutorial. I hope you liked it and got some tips. If you want to see another tutorial, you can watch my Makeup for Glasses video from a couple years ago. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I miss doing makeup tutorials. I haven't done very many lately. Hopefully you guys like this. Thumbs up if you like new glasses. If you think they look ugly on my face, then darn, because glasses, I don't know if you can return glasses, but I really like them. They're cute. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye!